Hello everybody and welcome to a new game called Stoneheart. It's currently in Alpha, Alpha 20 actually already, and so far it has been very much fun to play it a little bit around. It's a survival game where you're starting with a few of your heartlings, how they are called, and have to build up your own little village, get your supplies in like materials, but as well food of course, and have to fend against the incoming enemies. For now I played already a little bit and I liked it a lot so I would like to share it at least for a little bit with you and therefore we are going to start the new game in which the story begins and this is the story of brave band of settlers from and you can choose between two different kingdoms the ascendancy earnest and hardworking loyal and well-rounded citizens of the ascendancy shop building and farm content that no world is theirs to inhabit and Raya's children, the people of the desert, learned early that to survive they needed each other and preferably as many others as they could reach. Now visitors find them generous hosts with access to goods from all over the world. We are going for these guys. Because I like them and I played these guys already a little so it will not be too awkward looking at how it goes. So, from the Ascendancy, a prosperous and industrious kingdom, seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to the Temperate or to the Desert, and we're going to the Temperate, because our guys are building a lot with wood, and wood is a little bit rare in the desert. This is of our desert children, of course, or Briar's children, the starting place, because they play, um, build mostly with clay, and clay you can easily dig out, so we're going for the Temperate one. And it's off to Darkmoor Forest. And apparently we choose also the difficulty. We're going for normal because peaceful is a little bit too boring. Hard might be a little bit too difficult to start with. But normal is a good idea. Inspiring place to start in you. Yeah, let's do that. These are our guys. We are starting with 247 units. And we can buy something to start with. You can see three... Um, abilities, uh, not really abilities, but three stats. We have the mind, we have the body and the spirit. The mind is responsible for you guys, as you can see there as well, to be able to craft a little bit better and yeah, it also influences various other aspects of your character. Over here we have increased strength for a little bit fast movement, better fighting and the spirit which is, uh, well, for befriending enemies and um, supporting your characters. What I would normally would like to have is to roll a little bit around until we have, or until I have at least here around two guys, well actually exactly two guys, which have a strength of six, because you need these fighters and also early in the game you're getting attacked quite a lot. So I will click a little bit around and if it takes too long, we are, I'm going to cut that of course out and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are. We are back with Gareth Nonak having six in body as well as Elton Wester. Also, we have acceptable stats for Mind on Kate and Vio at least and Spirituality over here. The one I'm not sure what to do with or these two guys probably are just going to haul all kind of stuff in and that's it. Then we have 150 gold to start with, we can get the tra Trapper's Knife, Farmer's so and all kind of food and stuff. I will start with the Trapper's Knife. I think it's pretty important to have that rather early to get them leather in and therefore also get some clothing for your units. For this I'm not actually 100% sure, I think the spirit is for this the important one and we can give there for the knife to our guy John over there right away. But let's embark. You also have to choose the location of your city, the list map is loading in. You will have the highlighted area as the actual order and on the right side you can see trees, plants, wildlife and minerals and you actually should find a real good balance over there. And I really would like to have a uh, three mineral and at least a little bit of what there actually is this one. 433 three, that looks perfect for me. We have a little bit of a lake there that does not matter that much though. I don't think you need water supply for now. Um, 
Now we are rather close to the hill where we will find the minerals and obviously also quite some food through these yeah, wildlife. So let's settle here and generate the world. And I said I'm so far very happy with the game. A very, it's well, nice made. It looks a little bit like Minecraft. I never played Minecraft, but by the, by the looks of it, as you can see, that's at least has some resemblance. You can move the yeah the view a little bit around by right clicking using the mouse. We have nothing special over there. And you have to find the location where you want to place. Your, um, yeah, your uh, city banner over here. Well, it's a little bit too far away from proper stones. I think it's going to be somewhere around here. We have a few flowers. These are getting pretty important as well at some point. At least in the beginning. Later on, you can plant them, of course, yourself. There's a good amount of trees, and I think we can also build a nicely acceptable defense around here. Over here, that would be nice to haul in as well. Some fruits or some berries. We have some here as well though. So, let's place our banner, our city banner, and I think it's going to be right over there. And here we are in Silverstead. I do not believe it. It's of course Badrikian. Okay, there we go, in Badrikian. And our guys, well, happily arriving, and we need to start with things right away. First of all, a place where we're going to store stuff, which is just here. They should haul in and drop everything around there. Let's quickly pause the game, because I don't want to be rushed without having anything started. We have the town overview, which tells you how much money you have in or what's the actual worth of your city, which you need to actually gain new new um, citizens. I will come back to that a little bit later. You have your food amount as well as military strength. You can also see what you have in your inventory as well actually what happened over the time. That is a nice thing and that you should keep in mind. The town morale, that just has changed and I'm not familiar with, with how that works at the moment but it has first it had three aspects of influence. It raised now to five. Things like working and living the whole time in narrow corridor, small stuff, building, is a nice, a window, a bed, all kind of these things are in, um, affecting the mood of your citizens. So this is something to keep up or have a look at as well. Now here we have our citizens, you can see who has what and what they're doing. Also you can see their stats one more time and give them jobs. I will do that in a second though. Over here, we can tell our guys to harvest. I will do that right away because we need wood. So let's chop these trees down as soon as possible. Here, you would go mining. Here, a tunnel as well. And of course, you can redo. Um, you, you can undo your last action as well as collect the loot, which for some reason is not done by now automatically. You have to really say, loot this stuff, please which is a little bit odd to me, but that's fine. You've seen already in the designated areas, I said here's, the, here's our stockpile. These will unlock as soon as we have the proper unit for that. And we have, can build some buildings, which we should do. And we are going to build rather early the sleeping quarter. As you have seen probably, we will not have enough resources, but that's okay. We're going to build it here in the corner. A little bit far away from the stockpile, but that's okay because I have to, while we have to get more anyhow. And then we build this. Over here we have the crafters. We can only assign as soon. Um, yeah, we can only give task via this year as soon as we have told one of our guys to become this specific crafter. So now we wanted to get him. Uh, make him become a hunter because that's what we or the trapper that's why we got the knife so we go for change his jobs and as you can see we can assign a carpenter as well as the trapper because we have the required items for that in this case the trapper's knife and well just the unit later on you have to have different things so let's approve there we go and at the same time we also need the carpenter 
which should become um, yeah, one with four mind five but it sounds good to me. Katerel, you are going to be our carpenter. There we go. And let's slowly unpause and get to regular spe uh, speed so our guys will start over here picking up the knife for his trapper job. And these guys will start with fundament of our house. Okay, now we can go over here and say this is going to be the area where you're going to place traps and catch animals for us. And I'm going to make it a rather large area. So there we go. This is your duty now. I don't think actually it's necessary to look for where animals are running around. It seems like you can hunt them down all over the place anyhow. I don't, I'm not sure about that, but for example, this squirrel over here is something that we could hunt, of course. But for now, we need to go ahead and do more stuff. We need another building, actually, and that is going to be, well, we don't have it right now available. Well, he should, he should use that and not drop that over there, or whoever is assigned to be our carpenter should get that. So, um, until our carpenter finally decides to take his stuff, we are going to replace these berry bushes. You can do that by just clicking on it and saying here, relocate. Why I'm doing that? Just for the simple fact that we have then some food available close to our home. And it's also easier to just drag over it afterwards. And I'm also going to move these here. And make a little bit of a berry garden over there, berry bush garden. It will at least in the beginning supply us with sufficient food to keep our guys alive. I hope at least. Um, let's drop one over there. Two more to go. And there we go. Yeah, it's in line. Otherwise I would freak out after a while. And number nine, and I think nine is fine for now. As you can see, it's already placed there. We could already loot as well or get the food from that. These plants, I'm not moving around, I think, for now. I think that's okay. -ish. We have plenty of wood over there, and let's speed up for now. Our carpenter also picked finally up his tool. And by that, oh, let's quickly pause that one. So the carpenter house got available. It does not happen for the other ones. It just happens for the carpenter house. Later on, um, you will also get for the blacksmith and so on. I normally used to just remove the sign. You can edit the building over here. Then I remove the sign, replace it with the proper one, remove the items over there and cut that working. You have the overview, probably you've seen it, of what is needed over here. And most of the things the carpenter can make by himself. For these though, and as you can see now, we can give orders to our carpenter. He needs, for example, a workbench. So yeah, craft one workbench. We don't need more. We can also say maintain one always in our inventory, which is of course not necessary at that point of time. Various things are just getting available after a certain amount of time. Over here we have, what does it require? A carpenter workbench. Um, yeah, well, of course, we are building that at the moment, but it also requires to be on level 2 with our carpenter. That will happen later on, therefore, I will say, though, craft one anyhow, as soon as you're ready for it. And we need that for our... Actually, I keep one in my inventory all the time. We need one bed, a chair, I think it was. We keep one of this as well, because if necessary, we just have it ready and he crafts a new one, and also a table. At the same time, we will need a door. I will also have one of these always available as well. A window frame as well. And what else was it? I'm not sure at the moment, but it doesn't matter. Let's keep that going. And now, we have the traveler who approaches us. Mayor of Burley Hand, a barkey is praise Sid. Okay, praise to Sid. Here's something to get you started. Rabbit jerky and basket of berries. Thanks. And it's always nice to get something for free. And things you get are dropping in next to your flag. So let's just go ahead 
We can do it on speed too. I don't think that any enemy will charge at us right now. Otherwise, we also get into some kind of trouble. And here you can see the traps. Nothing caught over here. Something caught over here though. What do we have? A rabbit. Om yum yum. Well, we caught a rabbit. That's good. He will provide us with some leather as well as with some rabbit jerky, which we got here anyhow for free by the guy who just came in, Bip Bill or what his name was. In the beginning, the game, of course, will be a little bit slower. Not much is going to happen because we need to start up all of these things. We also have, yeah, I need a lot of beds over here as well as frames. So that's good that I said just one should be ready all the time. Now we can place actually the carpenter workbench. And I, it will be needed over here. So I don't think I'm going to place it by myself. We could just say, here, yeah, drop it and put it somewhere. But in order to finish this building, over here, carpenter bench, bench is needed anyhow. So as soon as they have that set up as far as possible, this will be picked up and brought there anyhow. And that's a nice thing of these prepared and designed buildings. Later on, we also will build a dining hall. So everybody will be happy and can eat at table and not like, well, like we do now on the floor. Also something, I don't know if you've played the game before, and with a patch that came out, I think, two or three days ago now, your hardlings need to eat twice per day. Before it was just once. Well, doesn't sound like a lot, but it will, of course, affect your planning a little bit. And the time management, because they are getting away from their work and, well, eat. I think for the time being, I'm going to so quickly going to harvest these things so we have a little bit of the berries ready for incoming new friends. <coughs> that happens also randomly. A uh, trader's coming in. He wants to sell stone. We can also go and sell our stuff, but we have nothing ready for that at the moment. So, nope, nothing to trade. I'm sorry. Let's go back to full speed. Yeah, it's getting night. Uh, our hardlings will get tired at some point. Not sure how often that happens. And somebody started the fire. The fire is kind of the location where we get her in case of an attack. Then we will just say here, town alert mode, mode and everybody's running over there. Later on we can also say that a different area is designated for that. So, how does it look with our house? The roof is still missing. They are building up the ladders to get up there, so this one is almost done. I hope. Because from that point on, we will continue. Over here, we still get some nice jerky. Thank you for that. I might move some trees over here just for the aspect reason of uh, if you can actually move them at all of you. I don't know if we can plant later on more trees. But I would like to have some over here, just because it looks more realistic, more, more natural if we have trees in the area where our traps are, but for now, ah, we, we don't care. Okay, anyhow, this one is almost ready. I don't know why they are putting more up over there, but must have some reason. They're removing stuff from over there. Yeah, there must be a reason. Do we still have sufficient wood? We do. Oh, more than just enough. I, what I would like to see is the possibility to prioritize something. I don't know if we can actually say that, but I doubt that. At least I haven't seen it so far. Yeah, but with uh, six <coughs> hardlings working on it, that doesn't take too long to quickly build a house up like that. Some of you might have noticed there are some statues. I can't find one at the moment though. That's also just a regular tree. There are some statues. I don't know if they have any kind of value or worth, but you can deconstruct them to get some stone out of that. So now, now over here you can see that we place the, oh, the carpenter bench over there. 
And somebody should go over to put it. There we go. Now our carpenter actually can start his work. <laughs> Let's click on him and get more information about Kate. So, and here we can see. Uh, let's quickly see that a little bit later. Daily update. That is how you get new people. If you meet these criteria, somebody else is coming to you and wants to join. At the moment, we are missing quite some food for that. That's okay. Our Tau Morel is, is it's existing, I'd say like that. Our worth is already sufficient. So let's go ahead and look a little bit over there. Heartening Morel. And here's the explanation actually of that. Heart and react to the world around them with thoughts that make them happy and sad. Good days, bad days. Happy hearthlings are more productive, while sad hearthlings have trouble with motivation. It takes a village. Morale is a helpful tool to see how your hearthlings are feeling and learn what is impacting your town. <clears throat> well, not much actually learned by that. Nothing that we didn't know. Now where is our carpenter? I wanted to show. There we go. Kate Rell. Here. This is new. <coughs> it's decreasing. Oh, it's okay. And we are not cooking anything, so they're ha unhappy with that. That is something to look at later, how we can increase that best. What I would like to see is the experience. Every time we craft something, experience is getting higher. And then we can craft new things. That's, as you have seen, very, very nice. Over here we have the attributes of our guys. Um, I have not looked very much into that, but they do the obvious things. Diligence, how much they need to sleep, curiosity, um, well, how much he enjoys the experiences, inventiveness, how good the hardlings at creating things, and that is actually something that this guy should be much higher in my opinion. Muscle, the strength, apparently, movement of our guys, physical endurance, Courage. Well, are we going into fight? Willpower. Enemy charms resistance. Nobody had tried to charm me until now. Might be coming later in as well. And how likely it is with our compassion to um, help fellow villager or befriend someone else. What do we have? The equipment that is obvious. The backpack. What are we carrying with us? And the job abilities. As you can see, with each level they also get various abilities. Basic furniture over here. <clears throat> we can make use of that stuff that somebody else has made already before and that will become needed and very useful. Anyhow, our guy is crafting hopefully a little bit around soon again after they slept because we need beds. Sleeping outside, you've just seen it, is decreasing our morale. So we need pets, furniture and everything around that. Also, we need a different tool. And I will need, of course, a wooden sword. A uh, weaver spindle is not needed by now, but we need the farmer so as soon as possible. Um, you can, you have here the line of orders whatever you want to call that and we can say instead of making the window first make the the sword now before they start from top and go to the bottom you can see over here with the indicated um what is it explanation mark this cannot be made right now there is something missing and it, we we know this is the actual experience so but we want and need a sword because at some point there will be enemies coming in and I want somebody to defend us. Sword over there. Perfect. Let's see who we assign to it. We had two guys with six body. And I think we are going to choose Gareth Nonek as first. You need to keep in mind you need a certain set of worker. Otherwise things are not getting done in a proper way. But one guy over here is what we need. He's taking the sword, adjusting his looks, and then he's just going to patrol a little bit around here. We can also say patrol in a specific area, like just here, just there, just there. But it's fine for him to move around. You guys, you can assign them to different combat parties. Just, well, that's a little bit tricky. I think it would be nice to just move them around so on some screen 
but that's not doesn't matter at the moment. You can you can do it like here, and then you have to choose the party type and move around. But doesn't matter for us at the moment. And you can say to attack, defend the defend area, move over there. Well, and cancel the combat orders. At the moment, as I said, I'm fine with them just running around. Let's see what Norm wants to tell us or sell us. He wants to sell us some wooden items. I'm not going to buy these either. We are fine at the moment. Our Trapper is doing Trapper stuff. Our Carpenter, I said I need her to get to level 2 as quickly as possible. Well, now she's eating. Because on level 2, we can make the um, the farmer so, and that is what we need to get some variety of food in. And later on, of course, the cook to maybe get something else than raw food. Is there anything else that is on her to-do list at the moment? Yeah, and with that she should become level 2, then we get the farmer so, and then we are happy. For the time being. There we go. Farmer so, please, as next. How is the wood looking, it's good, still sufficient there. And everybody who is idle from the workers is going to haul in some stuff. But the berries, of course, are replenishing themselves after a while. That is extremely useful, and there it is. Okay, let's go back to normal speed. Because I want to find out who we are going to use as next. And it's going to be Vio. Vio is rather weak <clears throat> but well with body wise but she has acceptable mind and spirit so you are, are going to be our farmer where are you <clears throat> oh there he is no it's not him Vio where are you are you you are Vio Vio coming picking up her equipment the farmer of course needs fields and with that <clears throat> now you can see we have the farms available over here, we can direct an area where to build it up. 11 by 11 is the maximum size and we're going to craft or to start up with three fields. One turnip, second one right next to it with carrots, third one beneath it with pumpkins. And get away from that. And it will take, of course, some time until everything is prepared and Earl is coming to, uh, to is ready to grow and to be harvested. <coughs> but that's okay. Let's harvest quickly these things as well. Maybe that helps us and gives us sufficient food to get a new hearthling coming in. Um. I'm not sure if it will, <clears throat> but that's okay. If you want to look inside your buildings, you can adjust the vision over there. And as you can see, we have four beds. That's already a start. Unfortunately, our farmer is sleeping now instead of finishing the fields. Ah, that's okay. They need some rest. We have a bed over here. That's perfect. I like that. And now, let's find out. It's everything in here. We need a writing desk, a carpenter sign, a... Uh, Wooden dresser and a lantern. So let's see. Sign, dresser, desk, lantern. Let's quickly pause. Sign, lantern. That I want. Craft one. Craft the carpenter sign. We need for that a regular sign though. So let's do it like that. Tuck, tuck. Then we need the dresser. And what else was it? One, two, three things I got. Yeah, it's, I think it was that. So let's go ahead. Oh, no, no, don't, don't close it. So finish these things and then this building should be complete, which should help our morale quite a lot. I hope. Well, let's quickly set up the walls again. Over here the lanterns are missing, you can see that. Over here the signage, I know about that one, but the lantern seems to be on the way. At least I hope. At some point I had a point where they didn't want to place the stuff. So, daily update. Do we have sufficient food? Unfortunately not. 
So maybe the next day. But that is going to be the next day for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this short. I know it's not very, um, yeah, very, very, um, very much a variety of what we what is happening right now, or very much action. But that is going to happen as soon as enemies are coming in, which probably will be rather soon. For now, of course, it's just building, 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 and get it ready. Anyhow, thanks for now. Leave the like if you liked what you saw. Let me know what you think of the game so far. And what you would like to see, what you expect as well. If you have an idea, maybe maybe you want to be you want to be else and Vesta, who is our worker at the moment. I can actually rename our guys, as you can see. So there's also an option for that if you want to be part of the game. For now, have a good time and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.